हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल मेरी मैडम टेक क्लासेस टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू फ्रॉम द डेटा साइंस चैप्टर फाइव स्टैटिस्टिक्स अनदर टॉपिक इज डिस्पोशन स्टूडेंट्स इन द पब्लिक एग्जामिनेशन इफ दे आस्क यू फॉर टेन मार्क्स एक्सप्लेन अबाउट डिस्क्राइबिंग ए सिंगल सेट ऑफ डेटा If they ask you for ten marks, you should write these two topics containing central tendencies and also dispersion. If they ask you for five marks, write about central tendencies or write about dispersion. You can write as five marks, right? Okay. Today we are going to see about the dispersion. What is dispersion? Dispersion refers to measures of how spread out our data is here dispersion is the state of getting dispersed or spread data in statistics dispersion means that it helps to understand the distribution of data typically there are statistics for which values zero signify not spread out at all and for we larger values signify very spread out if you see the two differences if the value i is non zero it won't spread the data if the values are large it spread out the very spread out the data instance for the instance a very simple measure is the range you know about range if you give x axis the range should be 0 to 10 is it the lowest range is 0 and the highest range is 10 so the largest and smallest elements which shows the difference between what is the range if you see here we are going to take the data range it is a variable but range is already already built function in the python so we are taking data range as the function name defining the function name data underscore range here we are going to take a list x s with a list of floating values and it returns the floating we are going to calculate the range the range will get how it will get from maximum minus minimum so 10 minus 0 what is the value 10 is the range 10 is the range so we are going to get we are going to get the range of number of friends where this number of friends if we observe this is the number of friends the range from 1 to 100 100.0 so the range is from 0 to 9 the mag the maximum minus minimum the output is 99 so a set data range we are assuming we are getting 99 is it right here the range is zero precisely when max and min are equal then we will get the undispersed possible data here if we are taking the maximum and minimum equal we will get undepressed value x is equals to 0 comma 0 what is the no dispersed in the value so the undispersed will be possible conversely if the range is larger so max ma maximum value is much larger than the minimum and the data a more complex measure of dispersion is the variance which is computed as follows let us see here we are going to calculate the variance variance to calculate the variance we are going to take sum of squares if we are going to import sum of squares that should be come from scratch dot linear algebra we are going to define the d underscore mean 
it contains float it returns the float value here d means we are going to calculate the mean the variable is x bar we can't write x bar so we are writing in a variable x bar x underscore bar x underscore bar is equals to mean of x's here we are going to get the mean value x minus x bar for x in x's all the values should be in the list of x's x values should be in the value of x's and we are going to calculate each value with the mean uh, the list will be calculated with the mean next we are going to define the variance variance is also containing the list of x's which is float and returning the float value here we are going to calculate the len of x's here just now we discussed about the number of friends so the length should be greater than equals to 2 so not less than or equals to 2 it is more than 2 how it is going to be calculated let us see the variance formula n is equals to len of x number of count of that x list next deviations is equals to d mean here d mean this output will be stored in deviations next we are going to get the output of this formula sum of squares of deviations by n minus 1 this is the formula we are going to calculate the variance that output will get between 8.54 and 8.55 let us see this one the variance on the other hand has units that are the square of the original units example friends squared number of friends we are going to take as it can be hard to make sense of this we often look instead of the standard deviation here we are going to calculate the standard deviation import math the standard deviation of excess list contains the float it returns the float that is going to be calculated with the math dot math dot square root of variance excess variance excess let us see about this one with the example uh, we are going to calculate with the number of friends we are going to calculate the standard deviation with the number of friends the output of the standard deviation will get between 9.02 9.04 between only we will get the standard deviation for the number of friends let us say uh, this is the number of friends 1 to 100 the standard deviation for the normal is z minus equals to root of sum of xi minus mu by whole power square by n this is the formula but for the standard deviation here we are going to calculate the standard deviation the standard deviation just now we saw that math dot square root of square root of the values this one here uh, standard deviation is sd or it will be in sigma is equals to here what is going to be calculated let us see x is the data set point x bar is the mean of the data set n is the length of the data set or number of the data points in the data set let us see with an example here x contains 2 comma 3 comma 6 comma 6 comma 8 mean is 5 2 plus 3 plus 6 plus 6 plus 8 25 by 5 is equals to 5 mean is 5 now x i the minus x bar just now we saw the formula x i i value is 2 value is 2 2 minus 5 mean is 5 so minus 3 3 minus 
ith part is incremented with 1 so 3 3 minus 5 is equals to minus 2 and so on 6 minus 5 is equals to 1 another 6 minus 5 is equals to 1 8 minus 5 is equals to 3 here this is about x minus x bar here we are going to calculate the x minus x bar of square so sum of squares that is equals to minus 3 how much minus 3 minus minus 3 square is 9 minus 2 square is 4 1 square 1 1 3 square 9 the sum of this one is 24 so this square is equals to 24 by this is variance this equals to 24 by 5 minus 1 so 24 by 4 we will get 24 by 4 is equals to 6 s square is equals to 6 s is equals to root of 6 that is equals to root of 6 is equals to 2.449 this is the standard deviation output or the variance of the dispersion by this we can calculate in this format with the example of this one thank you guys for watching this video please subscribe my channel Mary Madam Tech classes please click on the bell symbol you will get more videos as in the form of notification once again thank you for watching we will meet in another video bye take care